Message time, everybody. Hey, I went back to this word H with an I. I. Hi, boys and girls. I hope you read it before me because I didn't even give you a chance to figure it out. Usually I say, use your sounds, but it is a B for boys. Today is Tuesday, June 9th, 2020. What kind of a day is it out there? It is what? It is gorgeous. That's what it is. It is sunny. Help me spell it. S there's the U S. S oh, there's the U. Sun. There's the N. That spells sun, but we want sun E. So we want to add an another N and then E. Ha. Huh. It's not an E at all. It's Y pretending it's an E. If you hear an E sound at the end, it's almost always that Y pretending it's an E. It is sunny and it's finally here, people. Hot. H, big line down. Bounce and jump. Ah, ah. What's that ah sound like? Octopus? Oh. And I don't hear anything more after that. It is sunny and hot. Mrs. Chattel put what in the sound? Well, it didn't even fit in the sound bag. I put chimes. Ch, ch, C, H. C, H makes the ch, ch sound. All right. Ch, I'm. What do you hear? Ch, I. It's the I. Remember when we did that with rhyme time? Chime. Mm, mm, mm. And little line down, bounce and jump. Bounce and jump again. Chime. That spells chim. What tells the I to say the I sound? The sound of its name. The silent E. Mrs. Chattel put chime? No, chimes. Sounds like a Z, but it's an S. Mrs. Chattel put chimes in the sound bag. We can read. I had to put a little bit, a little tiny word up there. More books by Mo Willems. More books by Mo Willems. Well, Mo Willems wrote all the Nuffle Bunny books that we read. And he wrote Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus but there are more pigeon books and I love them and I think you will too. L-O-V-E spells love, Mrs. Chattel and Mrs. Melville 